PyPipe. PyPipe is a, a Python utility which you can use similar in the, on the command line, similar to AWK, in order to parse the lines that you have over the command line. So it's similar to AWK, but with Python syntax. This means that if you don't want to learn AWK, and you already know Python syntax, then you are in great advantage with PyPipe. Of course, the disadvantage is that it would not be installed automatically in servers unless you have the ability to install it. So if you know AWK, AWK will most probably be already installed on the servers. But if you're using your local Mac and you want to do uh, some crazy stuff with uh, Python on the command line, then you can use a uh, PyPipe. For example, here we use PPP, which is the command line for pipeline. We echo PyPipe, and then we uh, read Python syntax to pre to 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 scan it in each two characters. So we get P, P, and P because we skip for each two characters. So here you see that if we know Python syntax, we can immediately pass a uh, lines similar to AWK, but with Python syntax. Let's look at uh, additional examples. So here in this example, we use PPP line dot upper, and this uh, transformed all the characters into uppercase. The installation of it is that since it's a, a Python file, then we need to download this Python file, and then we do a soft link of uh, PyPipe into PPP, so that we'll be able to use it as PPP if we want. And this assumes Python 3.6 or like. And we could also use this uh, PPX in order to install PyPyPipe. And then the basic usage of it is PPP and our line. In this example, we are putting the indexes PPP I and then line.upper. So we get the indexes of the lines and then all the lines converted to upper. In this example, we use minus J in order to decode a JSON and get all the names from the JSON. So here we see another example of the easier usage of Python syntax in order to decode a JSON on the command line. We can also split strings into records. For this purpose, we use a record and we can split them by tabs. In this example, we see how we can use an F string together with PPP in order to get record number one and record number four and print them. Years old, years old, and print the record. So again, we see how it's easier for people who already know Python to use. We can also use the minus H or minus minus header in order to get specific a headers from the string. It will treat the first line as the header of it, and then we could reference it as a dictionary and get the values of it. In this example, we got the values of the header birth and print them. We can change the delimiter with minus D delimiter. So in this case, we took an input a delimiter and converted it. Regular expression, we can use the minus M or minus regular expression match in order to match records with regular expression and that get one of the columns that match them. And here we are matching digits. We can also use PPP CSV and then get the CSV as an actual comma delimited file. And we can run basically any Python command. In this example, we run the length of the text and we get the length of it. And we can run on multiple files, file number one, file number two, and then run the operation on all of them. So this was a brief introduction into PPP. Basically, it allows us to use Python on the command line uh, for standard operations that we would previously maybe use AWK for it. So this looks useful, especially for local uh, manipulation of a um, of a uh, of a uh, of a uh, clipboard, and um, instead of AWK, and of course, as we said, in actual servers we would not have this uh, pipe pipe. So it's good for local on your Mac or something like this.